Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today we're going to look at using date formatter to format dates in Swift into different styles, kind of like you see here below. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new. Please hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the dinner bell to be notified. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is instantiate a date formatter. So let's make a date formatter equals date formatter. We can set custom AM and PM symbols using our date formatter dot AM symbol equals AM. And then let's just set our PM like this. And now let's print out our date. So formatter dot string, and then we'll take it from date of now print. And you'll notice nothing printed out because we didn't set a date style or a time style. So let's do date style. And here we can set it to a couple different enum values. If we do full, we get Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. Let's see what happens if we do medium. A little bit shorter. Now we can add a time in by doing date formatter dot time style. And this has the same enum values, full, long, medium, none, and short. Let's just do a short value and see what happens. So 2.59 p.m. And if we do a long, we'll get 2.59.22 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Now let's use the locale property to set a locale format. So date formatter dot locale, and that's equal to a locale. So we'll have to specify a new locale and we'll use an identifier. In this case, let's start out by using English US. Now what happens if we change this to FR for France, French, you see now it's in French. Let's change it back to EN and use it from Great Britain. And here you see the day is first, month, and then year. Let's set this back to US, and now let's look at a different way to format your dates using the dot date format or dot set localized date format from template, which both pretty much do the same thing, but let's look at the date format one first. So let's call date formatter dot date format. And here we can use keywords or characters to basically specify what we want from our date. So the month, the day, the year, uh, the time zone or the day of the week or even hours, minutes and seconds. So let's put E E E E. And this is basically the day of the week, comma, we'll do month, day, year, and then we'll do hour, minute, second, and then we'll put an A for AM and PM. Let's copy our code above here and run it. Okay, so you see that the E's resulted in Wednesday, and then of course we have our month, day, and year, and then our hours, minutes, and seconds followed by our PM. So the amount of letters that you put in each one of these actually matters. So let's take a look at how that affects the result of our formatted date. Let's copy our two lines here. So our first three are actually all the same. If you have one, two, and three E's, it always prints out wed. And if you do four, it will print out Wednesday, or you can specify custom symbols for your weekdays. So date formatter dot weekday symbols equals, rather than doing three letters, we'll just do two. So SU for Sunday. Now you see we have WE instead of Wednesday. Let's change it to Wednesday like that and run our code again. And we have Wednesday. It's important to note here that your array should start with the keyword for Sunday. So it should be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if we actually try to put this at the end, get rid of the first comma here and change this back to WE and run this again, we'll be off by one. It says it's Thursday instead of Wednesday. So you want to make sure that you start your array of weekday symbols with Sunday. And now let's look at the different formats of month that you can work with. So I'm actually just going to get rid of our E's in the front here. 
one other thing I forgot to include here with our E is that if you actually type five of them, you'll get the first letter of the day. And we get the W. Okay, going back, let's change our M's here. Okay, so for the first one, you see we have four, O4, April, April, and then A. Working with the day number is pretty much the same. So if you do D or DD or three or four Ds, you pretty much get the same result. Now for the years, if you do four lowercase y's, it's always the same as one or two or three lowercase y's, but uppercase y, it changes a little bit. So let's look at that now. And with uppercase y, actually only one or two makes a difference. Anything beyond two doesn't matter. So let's print this out and you'll see what I mean. So with one year, you get 2021. With two capital Y's, you just get 21. Okay, let's get rid of all these extra calls here and just work with our one. So let's work with our less than one second by using a dot and you can put in any number of decimal places you want there. Run that. And then you got the time in less than one second. And finally, if you wanna put in your time zone, you can put in a Z here. So if you do one, two, or three capital Z's, it's all gonna be the same. But when you do four capital Z's, you'll get the expanded time zone. And if you wanna put some kind of keyword like at, so like four, 21, 21, at 318, you can do that by putting in an at here. So make sure it's in its own single quotes. And let's get rid of this statement as well and run. And you'll see we have at. If you don't include the single quotes, you will pretty much get a bugged date. So just be sure for any keywords that you use, you have them in single quotes. And like I said before, you can also use date formatter dot set localized date format from template. And that's gonna be a string. So you can pretty much copy this string, print it, and you'll get a similar result, only the at, on, and near will be gone. So if you just need basic functionality from date formatting, I would pretty much recommend using the date style and time style uh, enums. Those should be enough for what you need. But if you really need to drill down and specify an exact format, then I would actually just use the date format. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that dinner bell.